Well, how's it going, guys? Uh, today, working at spreading compost. We like to put compost on our seed corn ground, just as fertilizer. Uh, it's compost. It's it's just cow manure, but they've they've composted it. I guess is what they call it. It's there's nothing added to it. It's just ground up fine. And uh, mixed and piled, and they, they put more work into it, and it's just a higher concentration of it, so you can put uh, less on an area, and it's, it's less material going out instead of like wet stuff like what's uh, over in that dairy right there. So I just moved to this field. Uh, I'm gonna set up GPS line and start working my way back to the other side. All right, got everything set up, uh, made it back to the pile. Uh, this is what we're loading with. So every year when we go to spread compost, uh, we have a different loader, it seems. Uh, couple years back our cat loader which I've shown in the videos was broken uh, then this or then the so that year we rented a Volvo loader and from just from a dealership and so we used that then last year we our cat I don't know what I guess we just didn't want to use the cat because it wasn't broken uh, but we rented one of my neighbor's John Deere loaders and this year we have a case loader the only difference is we own this one and it's not so it's not a rental we bought this like last I think last summer I pretty much have not ran it until this year doing compost uh, last year I think I put a, probably about an hour and a half on it and that was all. And then I rode it at a few places on top of that. So, it's a 721G XR. So, it's bigger than our cat, which is nice. It has a bigger bucket. And the XR, I don't know what that means, extra reach or something. But we have, uh, it's a high lift. So the arms are longer. So, this is definitely, out of all the loaders that I've ran over the past few years, if I'm, if I feel uh, good about editing pictures into the video, I'll put up pictures of those other loaders. And I liked them all. Uh, there were good things about all of them. I liked the John Deere because it really would move down the road. At a pretty good speed. This moves pretty good too, but this hits about 22 mile an hour or so, and then the John Deere will hit 26. I think I've went 28 in a John Deere loader before. So that and then the one thing I don't like about the John Deere loaders are the looks you can put a brand new John Deere loader next to a really old one and the only difference is the decals and the cab but the exterior of the John Deere loaders have been the same for years it's just boxy metal uh, engine coverings and this thing looks pretty good, I think. Though, the Volvo we, went, we rented was pretty good too. I think this one's probably my favorite. Then probably the Volvo and then the Deer. But I like all loaders. It has a backup camera, 
which most loaders do have nowadays, but it's not as handy out here in the field where you don't have to worry about hitting anything, but if you get working in a tight area, it's amazing how handy a camera can be. So, yeah. It's nice with this big bucket. Already have the back of this full. One thing I don't like about compost is you can't keep it as full because it just runs off the sides. The wetter manure can stay in better. But yeah, you guys get the idea of this. All right, we're rolling with my second load here. I'm able to do about four passes going every other one. Kind of hard to see. Mirrors might be a little bit better. It's kind of blowing around because it's windy, but it's always windy. We had one day, I think last Sunday, it's like a week ago. Today's Friday, so last Sunday was beautiful. And then we went back to wind. We thought maybe it was over, but no we get more wind. So we're just making the best of it. Most of it's getting on the ground anyway, so. I just don't think waiting would be a good idea because I don't think we'd ever be able to spread on a calm day. So, yeah. Alrighty, finished my dad's field just over there. Right now I'm on the field that I'm renting uh, from my neighbor. Two videos ago when the wheat planting one uh, I planted this, this half of the field over here and then the rest of this is going to be seed corn. So I've got the pile of compost. Not a whole lot. But get this spread out. And then this head south, spread compost on my uncle's fields. That was my attempt to dig a pond, uh, but then I just hit a bunch of rocks, so I gave up trying to dig a pond. This is at least nice because the wind is blowing north and south. So since I'm going north and south, the wind doesn't blow the compost around as bad. It lays out there pretty evenly. Okay, well I finished my field over there and now I came back to my dad's. This is where I was before. Uh, I had a little bit of extra compost and he didn't have quite enough compost. So I just brought back the rest of mine and just run them out here. So I don't know how they how that works out. The truck should be coming the same amount. It gets delivered from the dairy that produces it. So we just tell them where we want it and then they just bring it to us. See, it does kind of blow. Almost empty now. It gets hard to drive over the corrugates because when that push gets to the back of the spreader, that mixed with the weight of those beaters, there's no weight on the hitch, so it bounces really bad. And we're empty. One thing I really like about spreading with this tractor, this Magnum, is the John Deere's, you have your hydraulics and you can just set them 
one speed and that's both in and out the magnum you're able to make the different directions be different speeds which I really like because for this push I can make it go out slow and then bring it back fast so it gets back and then you can't this has to be back before you can close the back door because there's little sensors on the back so if that door is not all the way open the push won't run so it's nice just to get it back fast and I found with the John Deere's you can come into your screen or wherever on the tractor the hydraulic controls are and speed it up and then bring it forward but it, to me it always seems like I forget to put it back so I get my next load go out and I click it to make it go back and it starts going back really fast and as long as you catch it it's okay but if you don't you could shove it all back and possibly plug up the beaters on the back even though I don't know how easy it'd be to plug this in compost because it's so powdery and light but yeah So I'm going to take this back home and top it off with diesel. We still have quite a bit, but it's going down south to do some of my uncle's ground. And I don't know if, I don't know exactly how much there is and if we'd have enough. And while we're up here, I may as well just top it off just to be safe. Then we'll head south with it. All right, so it's been a couple hours now. Uh, as you can tell, the sun has set. And I moved down to my uncle's ground down south. And I'm rolling again. So it's not blowing quite as bad, which is good. So. All right, so you know those times when you're recording a video and then you forget to record the outro and until you uh, get home? Well, that's what happened to me last night. So here's my outro. Uh, it's the next day. I pretty much got this whole field done. I'm just going to throw the rest of this compost out there somewhere. But I'm going to end the video here because I feel like it's gotten plenty long and I've talked enough. So uh, I'll catch you guys next time.